Hey everyone, thanks for coming to watch this video. Today I'm going to show you how to make these edible Airhead EOS treats. The first thing you're going to need to make these edible EOS treats is an EOS lip balm container. So I'm currently using this one, but I just wanted to show you what an EOS lip balm is in case you haven't seen them. So these come in three separate parts and you can easily put a sharp object in right where I'm pointing there and pop out the lip balm along with the middle piece. If you still have lip balm in yours, make sure that you guys completely scrape it out. You can put it in a different container so you can continue to use the lip balm and make sure that you clean it afterwards. So in addition to the middle piece, you have the base as well as the top. And in order to make the EOS edible treat, you're going to be melting the candy into the lid and then screwing on the middle piece and snapping on the bottom. And that is key to making these edible treats is that you use the top first. So we have our airheads here. We have watermelon, blue raspberry, along with cherry. I'm going to start off by using my green EOS container and filling it with the watermelon airheads. So you're gonna wanna grab some cooking oil, you guys, or coconut oil or anything that is okay under heat, and you're gonna wanna spread that around the top of the EOS. Remember, we're using the top, not the bottom. You're also gonna grab, grab yourself a microwavable dish and your delicious airheads. So this is watermelon. So tasty, you guys. Look how smooth and stretchy and chewy these things are. So I kind of thought at first that just one airhead would be enough, but it definitely wasn't. So I'm going to be adding two more airheads in order to fill our EOS container. So a reminder, when you're melting sugar, you guys, it gets extremely hot. So if you require parental supervision, make sure that you have that and just make sure that you're really careful with the dish as the dish will also get extremely hot and you don't want to burn yourself. Before I microwave my candy, just to make things a little bit easier here, I'm gonna screw on the middle piece. So again, you're screwing the middle piece on to the lid, even though it's upside down here in this video. I microwave this for about 20 seconds, so just make sure you guys keep an eye on it as it doesn't take long at all. Then you wanna carefully pour it into the container. Make sure that your container is very flat and supported as you don't wanna make a big mess with all this melted sugar, because it is hot. Try to scrape out as much candy as you can out of the bowl and for cleaning you guys just let it sit under hot water and it should come right off. And then once you have all the candy that you can get off that bowl, tap your EOS container as there could potentially be some air bubbles and you want to try to get those to come to the top. Once you're happy with your EOS, put it in the fridge or freezer probably for about 15 minutes in the freezer and a little bit longer in the fridge. And then this is what it looks like when it's done. So you can see that I have a little bit of air bubbles, which is fine, as you won't see this part when I snap on the bottom and open up the lid. So make sure when you put on the bottom, you line up the flat parts. It'll snap way easier like that. And then you slowly, carefully take off the lid and your edible EOS will be revealed. Now, in this case, you guys, this has happened to me before, and I think it's because I take it out and try to open it immediately after the freezer, but look, the little plastic cover that's inside the lid is on. I kept this in the video, you guys, because this has happened to me quite a bit, so I thought you should see what actually happens behind the scenes. So I find that usually happens when I try to take off the lid immediately. It being in the freezer, so you can let it sit on the counter for about five minutes or so, and if it still stays on your EOS you guys you can just take your knife and just pop the clear part off and it should be totally fine so next I will show you cherry and you can just watch it straight through and then the last one will be the delicious blue raspberry
As you saw at the beginning of the video, this one I was twisting and if you want that effect, just don't leave it in the fridge or freezer for as long and then you can have a little bit more of a gooey EOS. For this one I experimented with just using two airheads as I thought with the cherry I had a little bit too much extra and two actually worked out just fine. Well, there you have it, three edible Airhead EOS treats. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure that you subscribe so that you can stay tuned for more of our videos.